All right, boys and girls. This is about how plants can be different. You may think that these are different kinds of plants. They are not. They are all adult zinnia plants. Flowers on zinnias grow in different sizes and colors. The flowers have different number of pe numbers of petals too. Okay, so see those pretty flowers? I have to tell you, zinnias are one of my favorite flowers. Um, when they grow, they can be all different colors. Each of these are still a zinnia plant. However, you're seeing yellow and red and orange and different shades of pink and even white in there. They're all zinnias. Some will grow tall, some will grow shorter. Now their leaves are the same. So that's the one thing about them that are the same. Take a look at all the, those leaves in there. They're all the same. They're all the same shape. They all have the same look to them. Their stems are all the same. Okay. However, the flowers are what is very different. Okay. So they look very different from each other. However, they are all adult zinnias. Okay. Um, their flowers are very different um, looking. So now I want to show you a few pictures. Different. On. The same plants can look different, just like we saw with the zinnias. You may think the following slides show different kinds of plants. They do not. They are all adult plants. Observe each plant image. Can you identify similarities and differences in each plant? So here's the zinnias, just like we saw in our book. It's just a different picture of them. Notice how they're all different colors. But if we look really closely, again, we see that the leaves are the same. They still have stems. And I bet if we dug into the ground, we'd find that they all still have roots. Okay, but these are all adult zinnias. They just, their flowers are different colors and the heads have different numbers of petals. You see that one red one, it doesn't have very many petals, but look at that flower head, it has tons of petals. But they're all still adult zinnias. Let's take a look at a different kind. Roses, these are all adult roses. However, if you look really closely, you can see that they're different shades. Some are dark pink, some are light pink, some are red, okay? They're but what do you see that's the same? Their heads all still have the same shape. Do you see the petals? They're all the same shape. So even though some are small and some are big, they all still have that round shape to them. I bet if we look closely too, we might find that some of the leaves look the same. Uh, this is a, I think it's called a ranunculus. Um, very pretty flowers, but again, just like the zinnias, all the flowers um, are different colors. They're all adults, okay? They're all from the same, they're all the same type of flower. Um, they just look a little different. Um, but you do see that they all still have that curved pattern that goes around, kind of like the roses did. Um, it looks like their leaves might be the same. Okay, look at the leaf up there, leaf down there. So their leaves still have the same pattern. Just a lot of different colors. Okay, these are called impatience. Um, and if you look at them, they're definitely very different in color. Um, but impatience all have the same leaves. And I'll be honest with you, boys and girls, even though this says impatience, these are not impatience. Um, impatience have, are a different flower, so they have the wrong uh, caption at the top. However, when you look really closely, these are actually from the carnation family. Their leaves are very much the same and their petals, the petals on the flowers, they are the same even though they're different colors. These are bromelad, I'm guessing. And if again, look at the different colors you see, but look at those leaves. Those leaves are exactly the same and the flower heads are exactly the same shape. Cactus, all right, so cactus, these little ones down here is the same, it's still a cactus. These are adults, they are not are not going to look like this one, they don't have those arms that come out, okay? They're just a different shape. Now I bet if we were able to see really closely, 
they still have the same prickly needles on them. These ones have prickly needles and these guys have prickly needles. Same color too. These are maple trees. Okay, look at the difference in the colors of the leaves. One has a red leaf, the other has an orange and yellow colored leaf. Um, however, if we were to look at them very closely, the leaves would have very similar shapes. And as you can see from the trees, they both have trunks. Okay, um, if we were to dig in the ground, I'm sure we would see their roots. On both and that was the end of our look through the different types of plants so I hope you got the chance to see that plants even though that they can be the same type of plants sometimes there are things that are different about them